Rena, thanks very much. Now to the final story in this week's Coast Guard series. In January 2006, Station Cape Disappointment received a report that a 50-foot vessel named the FV Catherine M with three people on board was disabled and drifting toward the breaking surf in Peacock Spit at the mouth of the Columbia River Bar. Marine Staff Sergeant Raina Barnett talked to one Coast Guardsman who not only put himself in harm's way, but also the lives of his crew to save others. The distress call came into Station Cape Disappointment in the early evening hours of January 2006. Two Coast Guard boats were immediately dispatched to provide assistance. Bosun's mate Dave Ramsey quickly determined the situation was much more dangerous than previous reports indicated. With sea conditions deteriorating rapidly and 25 to 35 foot seas with 25 foot breaking surf, the crew of the 47 foot motor lifeboat forged on. Although almost impossible to navigate, and despite overwhelming odds, BM-1 Ramsey and his crew saved the FV Catherine M and its crew from impending peril. He explains what he was thinking. Just the danger of uh, being out here, you know, putting my boat crew in harm's way, and uh, the fact that I had to either wait it out until uh, the 52 got on scene or, you know, take action and with you know my boat crew back at me we made the decision to take action constantly being reminded of how severe the conditions were just from being you know right there uh, but you know through teamwork and all that I think we we're all able to kind of feed off of each other. Although the 52-foot lifeboat Triumph was considered the best platform to conduct this rescue it was nowhere near the Catherine M and Ramsey decided he couldn't wait. With the help of helicopter assistance provided by Naval Air Station Astoria, BM-1 Ramsey courageously accepted the risk and began the towing evolution and now the search and rescue mission. The crew of 47248 acted with such skill and courage that FV Catherine M and three lives aboard were saved and brought back to safe and calmer waters. As for BM-1 Ramsey, he says the best thing about that particular rescue was seeing firsthand that his training paid off when lives depended on him. I was able to use literally the very basic steps in everything I was ever trained to be able to complete that mission. Um, really made me realize, you know, what they teach you, and I was able to apply it all. Uh, and to know that the boat, you know, our rescue boat, was able to withstand the conditions. Um, just it really makes you uh, confident in what we do and what we train for. BM1 Dave Ramsey and his crew will receive the Admiral Chester R. Bender Award for their heroism at a May gala.